Hey what is up guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another GT7 update. Now I do want to apologise first and foremost that this video is probably going to be a little bit later out than usual. Uh, that's mainly because you know sometimes life gets in the way. Uh, YouTube isn't my full time job so I don't have all day to sit and kind of scour around everything. Uh, so if I'm a little bit kind of late on some of these details and you already know it. I do apologise however I'm going to try my best um, to try and get this as up to date as possible because actually... The original video has kind of been able to be kind of built on um, so I am going to be including a few extra kind of additions um, at the end as well because some more details about the 25th anniversary update has also been revealed. So the first thing I'm going to touch on surrounding Gran Turismo if the Ferraris didn't give it away themselves um, is that a Ferrari VGT has officially been announced in a awesome little trailer um, little teaser around about 10 seconds long um, by Gran Turismo over on Twitter and all their social medias. Now, this one, believe it or not, I'm actually excited for. Now, usually when VGTs come in the game, I'm one of those that I'll just be like, you know what, I'm really just not bothered. You know, I could absolutely do without it. We had a the Porsche uh, Spider VGT with the EV1, and it was just horrendous. It was basically just a copy-paste. Now, since then, it all went quiet on the EV front, I believe. And there was kind of images not long ago released by Skoda um, that kind of made me think, you know, this unknown, uh, you know, kind of VGT car that doesn't, you know, a brand that doesn't already have one uh, was releasing one that kind of made me think, yeah, okay, it's got to be Skoda. Then out of nowhere, Ferrari, you know, <laughs> you know, one of the most, rec if not the most recognizable car brand, you know, ever you know releases a vgt now the reason i'm actually mainly excited for this one because it seems to be based on the le mans hypercar if you look at those front lights they have a striking resemblance to the brand new uh, lmh car uh, coming to le mans for next season so i'm very excited to see if this will be some kind of you know mix of a road going version of that um, in terms of it being a VGT now with it being from Ferrari it's probably not going to be an EV I'm expecting some exciting things uh, from this one and if it is kind of bait you know LMH based uh, or road going version of that kind of in a way uh, it'll be absolutely awesome so that was absolutely some big news which I was actually going to base uh, this whole video around um, obviously a lot of people um, kind of I guess hate VGTs so you've still got the you know the typical people complaining but look at the end of the day this is a pretty big statement for Gran Turismo especially where the game's been recently for them to just you know hop on with Ferrari to create a VGT it's it's pretty big news to be honest and it does kind of fill me you know with a little bit of hope now I'm not saying it's going to absolutely save the game or anything like that of course not but the fact that you know people like Ferrari are willing to kind of team up with Gran Turismo even after all the controversy and stuff like that don't get me wrong it's pr probably been in the works um longer than kind of GT7 actually being released um but still I mean it's big big news um obviously it's been kind of hinted at for a I'd probably say a couple of months at this point about this new VGT but to see it's actually Ferrari is just you know blows my mind like so I am genuinely really excited for this one I don't think it will be as weak as some of the other VGTs we've had so we've had like the Suzuki which in my opinion just felt really kind of weird and just pointless it's so really you know bad in terms of it being a VGT and um, the Porsche Spider essentially just a copy paste of the one we already had on the front cover EV nothing really exciting don't get me wrong it made for an awesome kind of glitched rally car but that's as you know that's about as far as it goes now that will actually be officially unveiled I believe on this coming Sunday at the GT World Finals or World Series Finals whatever you want to call them um, so it'll be absolutely awesome to see that now this will actually bring me on to the 25th anniversary update there's been quite a bit more news um, surrounding that being released uh, especially over the last few hours so I'm going to try and uh, cover as much as that as I possibly can uh, so we'll actually start off with something that kind of mixes in this Ferrari VGT so about six hours ago, uh, Gran Turismo basically said uh, there's going to be some in-game quiz um, to do with watching the GT World Series. So on each day, you've got um, you know day one to four, there'll be kind of prizes up for grabs. Now by the look of it, on day one, it's going to be um, the one million credits. So not bad at all. I'm not complaining for the sake of uh, 
you know, doing a question. Uh, that is for the Toyota Gazoo Racing GT Cup, and that will run from the 24th of November at 1600 to the 25th of November at 1559. So 24 hours essentially to um, do this kind of quiz, and that will get you a million. Uh, day two is the Nations Cup Regional Finals. You'll get a six-star uh, part roulette ticket. Nothing too exciting there. But again, same again, 24 hours. And then you'll get uh, day three is a six-star engine roulette ticket. Um, again, 24 hours for that. And then um, for the Nations Cup Grand Final, uh, this one's a little bit special. It's the Ferrari VGT. So you'll be able to uh, receive the car prior to its inclusion in Brand Central, which I believe is going to be the December the 15th. So that car isn't coming in this update. It'll be coming on the 15th of December. So if it's prior to its release in Brand Central, I'm going to assume the official kind of update for next month will be a little bit after that. I don't think they'll kind of give it out too, too early. So people are just riding around in, you know, community lobbies and such. And it kind of is just a show off thing. I think it'll just be a few days later before the whole Christmas uh, shutdown and stuff that will kind of get the December update. So that's kind of seems how it's going to be working. Um, it's kind of obvious that's going to be coming to the brand central, but people that kind of get this quiz right on day four or whatever um, will get it before it actually goes into brand central so if that's on the 15th i'm going to say the update could be probably anywhere from the 17th to the 20th i've not really looked at a calendar um, to figure out when the thursday or anything like that will drop so yeah i'm going to assume it's not going to be out for kind of too long uh you know before it drops into the brand central so you know some pretty cool rewards they'll probably take a couple of you know seconds of your time to go and do and we can probably get ourselves a, you know a decent amount there you know one million credits for next to nothing which in my opinion is awesome some, uh, you know, a couple of parts, uh, mainly the engine ones I'm more bothered about because they're so hard to get. Um, so, I mean, I'll take any engine at this point. And then obviously getting the kind of car prior to its official release is just, you know, absolutely awesome. So, yeah, that one kind of links in. Now, if you remember, I believe it was either the previous video or maybe a couple of videos before that, I spoke about the um, kind of unknown, um, what would have been essentially the fourth car um, of the update, which was a 25th anniversary special edition. Now, that turns out it's the kind of Red Bull X 2019, I believe. It does actually look pretty cool in, in screenshots, I can see. And it's looking like that's a kind of thing that has to be earned. Um, and there's, you know, some time challenges and stuff. So, you know, that does look pretty cool. That seems to be the 25th anniversary special. I did say, you know, I would have chosen the R33, R33 GTR, uh, mainly because of its feature, you know, all those years ago in the uh, original Gran Turismo intro. Uh, but it is what it is, you know, and at the end of the day, I'm not massively excited for this. But to kind of have a special one-off car is, is pretty cool you know you don't get me wrong um you know it kind of as gt gets older and older and you kind of look back at some of the more rarer cars you've got seeing that will be pretty cool so it's also looking like the world map will change as well it's looking like it'll have a bunch of kind of 25th anniversary celebratory um kind of banners and fireworks going around as well as some pretty cool lights up at night um as well as that there'll be some kind of extra bits to choose from so where we usually see just the bonus campaign and the World Series, there'll be another two option. Uh, there'll be one that'll be the viewers campaign, which is, I, from what I hear, is going to be pretty much like the um, where you do the quizzes and such. And then you'll have kind of another bit that sort of says 25th anniversary uh, by the look of it. And this will essentially um, have a few special kind of bits in it. So here's some of them. Or at least I'm going to assume this is where they're going to be. So it says daily races from November 24th to December 5th. Daily race A will feature a race similar to the world final. Within this period, the credit rewards for applicable events uh, will be five times more than usual. Um, so that's essentially putting the daily pay, you know, where it should be realistically, in my opinion. Uh, online time trials, again, the same dates. Complete recreation of world final races to be held as a time uh, trial event. Then it goes on to say, within this period, credit rewards for applicable events will be two times more than usual. Uh, point races, round one uh, from 24th, uh, November 24th to 27th, round two from December 1st to 4th. Complete recreation of world's, uh, world final races within this period. Credit rewards for applicable events will be 10 times more than usual. So, yeah, I mean, it's looking like there's going to be quite a 
few kind of timed stuff with this update um, now obviously I'm going to assume they're going to put the usual kind of you know events and such in like they usually do um, but it seems like there's a lot of timed stuff um, in terms of you know unlocking things and getting extra payouts and stuff and you know don't get me wrong I'm not complaining um, it's essentially like with other games where you kind of have like you know let's say double XP or you know that kind of thing um, where you kind of get you know double of everything or even more of everything for a set amount of time and i'm pretty cool with it i honestly think if kind of gran turismo did this on a more regular basis so maybe like even if it was just kind of one weekend out of a month or something like that it would massively help drive people to just jump in the game and get those credits it'll also kind of settle the criticisms around the economy because look you know you'll be getting double the rewards so let's say if we did tokyo we'll come out with 1.6 million and such um you know one weekend out of each month it'd be pretty cool i honestly think if this kind of thing is a success for gt7 and it brings more people back and it kind of gets people doing more of these events then you know, do it on a more regular basis you're proving it works you're proving it brings people back go and do it you know so hopefully it'll be a good update um you know so i honestly think it'll be much better than a lot of the recent updates that is my honest opinion but my kind of hype for it isn't going to be too too much i still feel like you know the kind of things that have been coming out with these updates have not been amazing it seems like you know the main thing about this 25th anniversary is all timed events um, but it is what it is i'm just happy to have more content it feels like a long time and um, it also kind of gives us like i said in like the kind of blog posts and stuff um, a little bit of a hint when maybe to expect the december update because i'm going to assume the ferrari will officially come with that update and then we'll get some other you know bits and bobs with it so pretty cool in my opinion i'll make sure to cover it and i'll probably enjoy it uh, for what it is so yeah I, i'll just keep you updated on any more news and as i said that guess what um, it, it appears that the uh, german version of this blog post actually specifically hints at the new track coming so it appears we were right all along um it's not gonna be um Grand Valley Speedway. Uh, it did kind of switch from Road Atlanta to Grand Valley and then back to Road Atlanta. Yeah, it turns out it's uh, Road Atlanta's coming to GT7 and that will be on Thursday. So pretty excited for that. Finally, a new track. If Grand Valley Speedway has been hinted at so much, I'd assume that could possibly even come in a December update. Now, I'm not going to expect that from Gran Turismo. Like I said, my kind of hype and, and build up for all these updates is you know, pretty low, uh, but it will be pretty awesome to see uh, that come along. So, yeah, with at least getting one new track in this update, it's pretty much confirmed. Um, obviously, it's kind of weird that all of these kind of confirmations and such seem to come out of the German blog posts, um, whereas the English kind of version doesn't really say anything um, along those lines, I believe, when I've just kind of read through it a few times. Um, so, yeah, definitely you know pretty cool finally a new track i mean it feels like a long long time since um watkins Glen. i mean what was that may june something maybe even july at latest it's just yeah so yes there's a new track yes there's three new cars that being the uh, m2 the sierra cosworth and i forget the other one oh yeah okay yeah another sylvia and <laughs> um, so they're the official ones obviously there's the x2019 and it's limited edition livery ferrari vgt getting revealed and, and coming along i'm going to assume properly with december um, so that's a bit of an early reveal which is you know kind of nice and um, because it feels like there's a bit of direction going forward and we can get a bit of a hint um so yeah i mean plenty to do uh some time stuff like i said probably the usual events as well um so i'm expecting this update to have a bit more depth than the usual but i'm not expecting overly too much so don't get yourselves too hyped yes there's a new track coming um so hopefully that kind of settles that bit down for a bit but then they need to keep that momentum going in my honest opinion so that's gonna be it for today's video sorry it's a little bit later sorry i had to kind of delay it i had just other things to do in my life uh, my bad um so yeah at least i'm kind of getting everything all in one video so i'll catch you all in the next one don't forget to check all the links in the description for twitter discord all that good stuff check out my sponsor for today's video the controller people uh, they sent me an awesome custom controller recently and i pretty much use it every day uh, when i'm not using the wheel it's absolutely fantastic and uh, yeah take care guys peace just another little hint for tomorrow, by the way, when the trailer dropped, I will make a video kind of covering it and talking about it. Um, all of this should be made properly official then. Um, so yeah, I'll see you later.